In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the if error function in Excel. So let's say we have two columns of data, column one and column two. And we're going to divide the numbers in these columns, which I'm about to put it in. So let's say we have the numbers 350, 425, 745, 824, 960, 146, and 328. So let's divide the first number by 10, the second one by 25, the next one by 0, and then 8, and then 20, and let's say the letter D, and this one 15. And let's calculate the sum of everything. So the sum of all the numbers in column one, we can type in equal sum and then just highlight everything. And let's do the same for column two. So even if we have a letter like D, it will still calculate the sum. So now let's divide column one by column two. So let's start by typing equal cell B3 divided by C3. And then let's click this button on the bottom right and drag it. So notice that we have some errors. For example, 745 divided by 0. That's a mathematical error. You can see that. Dividing a number by 0, it's undefined. And here we're trying to divide a number by a letter. And so that's not going to work either. If we try to calculate the sum of this column, there's going to be some issues. So let's see if we can use the if error to fix that. So in cell E3, I'm going to type in if error. Don't forget to put the equal sign first. And then the same calculation, B3 divided by D3. Now, if there's an error, what value do you want Excel to return? So I want it to return, let's say, a 0. So type in 0 and then close parentheses. So there was no error for uh, the first calculation, so I got the value 10. But now I'm going to drag this along all the way to cell E9. So notice that everywhere where I'm supposed to get an error, Excel has returned a value of 0 instead. And so now I can calculate the sum of this column. And so that's one way in which you could use the error function. So if an error comes about, you can have Excel return a value. It could be 0, it could be 25, it could be a text string. There's a lot of things you could do here. Now let's see how we can use a text string with the if error function. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to type in equal and then if error. Same calculation. Let's divide cell B3 by D3. But let's say if we want to put the word error, you need to type it in or within quotation marks. So if we get an error, Excel is going to say error. And now let's extend it. And as you can see, anywhere there's an error, it will give us the word error. And you could change it. You could say something is wrong. So anything that you want to write here, Excel is going to uh, display that value whenever you get an error. And so that's how you can use words instead of returning a zero uh, with the if error function. And so that's basically it. Now you know how to use the if error function in Excel. Now if you want to find more videos on uh, Excel, uh, check the description section of uh, this video and you could find my Excel playlist where I have like a lot of other topics in Excel that can help you. And if you need help in other topics like uh, chemistry, physics, algebra, trig, uh, geometry, and other math courses, feel free to check out my channel um, if that is of something of interest to you. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.